Today, we begin our long final journey towards my mom's house in the Swiss Alps. Over the next two days, we venture from Germany through Austria and Liechtenstein, then drive on one of the most dangerous roads in the world in Switzerland, nearly crash several times, why is it so narrow? have a bit of a kitchen malfunction, <laughs> pick up a stranger <laughs> my name is alexander from germany and then finally make it for a long overdue reunion with my mom let's get going shall we ready for some breakfast yes we found a really nice parking spot last night the bush behind us a little bit sad about it perfect place right in the heart of this city called garmisch patenkirchen good pronunciation thank you <laughs> Out of all the German towns that we've been to, which is not that many for me, <laughs> this one's the most German looking. <laughs> it just looks proper like you expect Germany to look like. The buildings look so cool. Yeah. Wow. It's got a lot of old buildings. There's a church right there and then we are surrounded by the mountains. We have to go through loads of tunnels to get here. So I think they are literally all around us. That building on the left there is a pharmacy. All the buildings here are really nice. We walked past some things that you wouldn't expect in such a beautiful city. I think this might be a city. It feels bigger and smaller every time I look around a corner, so I'm not sure if it's a town or a city. But there's a Pizza Hut. I think there's even a McDonald's somewhere. <laughs> and they're probably also in very beautiful buildings because everything is like painted fronts of the buildings, wooden window shutters. And this is the town centre, I think. Yeah, it's, it's early. <laughs> it's, it's breakfast time. That's probably why it's so quiet. <laughs> I was really curious whether this is a town, a city, a village, and it is a German ski resort, obviously, in Bavaria, where we are now, formed when two towns joined in 1935. So one of them must have been called Garmisch, and the other one Patenkirchen, and then they just joined forces. So it's technically two towns. Oh, a nice cafe. Yes. Morgen. Um, can we please have zwei Latte Macchiato mit Doppio? Um, einen Brezel. Uh, which Kuchen do you have? Um, I have a cream cheesecake with cinnamon on top, mm -hmm. uh, carrot on top. They have a cheesecake with uh, cherries and dumplings on top, a marmalade cake and a nut cake. Which one? You choose. The first cheesecake. Was the cheesecake with cinnamon. cinnamon? Yes, that sounds good. Yeah. Thank you, Sharon. We're starting with the most German thing that we could find. <laughs> a pretzel. Some delicious coffees. And then this sort of cream cheese cheesecake, but with cinnamon and sugar on top, which sounds just like absolutely delicious. Good way to start the day. Anything with sugar, anything with cinnamon, it's already a winner. Mm, that's really good. But also, the layer of sugar and cinnamon is like crunchy at the top. It actually tastes very German, you know? I feel like sugar and cinnamon, maybe it's because my grandmother, who was German, always would put like cinnamon and sugar on my Grießbrei that she used to make me, which is like a type of porridge. And it just reminds me of like Germany and warmth and like fairy tales. <laughs> it's really good, you're gonna love this. Perfect. Bit of crunch on the top from the sugar. It's really nice. Mm. Mine now. <laughs> Yeah, we were literally having coffee and breakfast in there. Such a cool place, like. But it looks like uh, something from a theme park. It's just so well, well decorated. Yeah, <laughs> but this is real. <laughs> yeah. Super cool. Right, should we go? To. To. Austria. Austria. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. go. It sounds really weird when you say it like that. Should we just <laughs> head to Austria? Okay. All right, let's go. And then we'll go to Liechtenstein. Okay. And then Switzerland. And then, yeah, I think so. That's a good <laughs> idea. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of driving, but the countries are all so close together that it's not 
a crazy amount of driving. Yeah. It's actually, and the way that we've located ourselves here in Garmisch Patenkirchen, it's very close to the border of Austria already. So, hopping over the border will probably just take a short while. Yeah. This route that we're taking today would normally take about three, three and a half hours to drive to the area that we're going to in Switzerland to start our mammoth of a journey tomorrow. But we've decided to take a little bit more of a leisurely approach. So we're stopping in Austria for lunch and then we're passing through Liechtenstein because we want to. And also we kind of have to in order to avoid the low emission zone in Austria. Quite a lot of the country has this low emission zone and our van is old and diesel but where we're ending up is just basically across the border from Liechtenstein into Switzerland so we're going Austria Liechtenstein Switzerland and then tomorrow is just Switzerland 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 Alps 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 scenic scenic beautiful route I can't wait because Google Maps makes it look gorgeous so in person it's probably gonna be absolutely spectacular and then we get to see my mom! Yay. I'm so excited! One kilometer to... Österreich. 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 I like these signs because they're like, okay, you're gonna be there in about one kilometer. So you're yeah. not gonna miss it. They warm you up. They're like, yeah. you're coming! But there's a queue to get in. Yeah. But we were literally five minutes away, parked, and now we're basically in Austria. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We're in Austria. We're in Austria. It's our second country of the day, and it's so cool to be able to drive country to country like this. Now it's time for some proper Austrian food to make the most of our short time here. We have arrived in a city called Bregenz, which is just back in, in Austria. And we found pretty decent parking actually. It's got loads of cars. Yeah. So we're gonna stop here for a couple of hours and have some nice lunch. Wow, found the restaurant right by the water. And over here, there seems to be like an opera house with what looks like to be outside seating, but a lot of building works at the moment. Yeah, yeah. But what's really surprising is that normally when you get water this close to a big city, it's like murky. I literally, can you see that fish? Yeah. The water is crystal clear. It must be because we're surrounded by all of these Alps. Yeah. So it's just alpine water, crystal, beautiful. Nice. Nice. But I'm hungry. Can we be in the Ecke sitzen? Natürlich. Did you hear me speak German? Yeah. <laughs> You're getting more, even more fluent. <laughs> he he understood the, me. Look at the view. Like mountains, 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 blue skies now. It did rain for a little while when we were driving, but now it's blue skies, sunshine. And even though this building works just over there, it's really quiet. Wow. The air feels fresh. fresh, yeah. I know exactly what I'm having. There's something I've been seeing on the menu. Everywhere in Germany, everywhere in Austria, I was gonna say, this is the only restaurant we've been to in Austria, but it's also the national dish of Liechtenstein, which we're passing through later, probably not going to be eating in. And this, I guess this is the Austrian version of it, because it's spelled in so many different ways, but it's called Käseknöpfel, Knöpfle, Käseknöpfle, which basically means cheese. Like, maybe, I don't want to Knöpfle, I, I, Noodles. Kno, Knöpf is a button, I don't know. Little thing, but it's basically just similar to pasta, they call it on the menu, with cheese. 
and onions. Sounds good. It sounds brilliant. It sounds delicious. And it's vegetarian, so yes, please. Thank you very much. And since we are in Austria, I have to go for a schnitzel. A Wiener schnitzel. Vom Schwein. Yeah. Which is pork yes. schnitzel with french fries. Schnitzel. schnitzel. So, bitte Salat gördü ya. Muhteşem. Muhteşem. Guten Appetit. Dankeschön. Gerne. Wow. <gülüyor> Only guacamole. Mine comes with a whole big spoon. This is massive. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. It smells so good. It's covered and like roasted onions and it just kind of looks like macaroni and cheese. Oh, my mouth is watering. This is gonna be so good. I can't wait any longer. I have to try this. Look at that. It's so cheesy. Mm. This is good. <laughs> looks like a cheese lover. Oh, I love cheese. I love onion. And anything remotely pasta like. This is so good. This is exactly what I needed. Like a hot cheese, delicious, huge dish. Oh, that's like the tastiest pasta bake. Right? Yeah. It looks like I'm having fish and chips. It comes even with a lemon, but it's not. It's pork schnitzel, which is like, from what I know, a thin piece of pork breaded and served with fresh fries. So, kind of simple, but nice. I asked him, does it come with sauce? Because, you know, I imagine something like this would be quite dry. And it came with this which looks like some form of gravy. And I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to try without first. Mm. How is it? Really good, actually. Fried, crunchy, crispy. Fries are good. Let's see this. Could just be gravy, you know? Whoa, that's some form of like red wine sauce. Mm. Oh, I was not expecting that. Is it good? Yeah, yeah. Have a chip and dip into that. Okay. It looks like gravy. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. It's hard not to react like that. That is red wine sauce. That's good. Mm. That tastes like cozy winter nights. Yeah. Mm, and everything is like the perfect level of like warm. It's like a hug on the inside. We should eat it before it gets cold. We should eat it before it gets cold. Then we're gonna go to Switzerland. Can you drive to the right side, please? Yep. Yes. How long do you stay in Switzerland and Liechtenstein? Um, Liechtenstein, we're just passing through because we just want to see it. We've never been there before. <laughs> and then yeah. Switzerland, staying one week, and that because my mom lives there. Yes. And then we are going through Geneva for like maybe four nights. And then back through France to the UK. Okay. Are you a 
meat, alcohol, or tabak with you? Mm. Meat. Yeah. I, I More than you... uh, two kilos? Oh, no, no, maybe some salami in the fridge. Okay, sure. Okay. Not a lot. <laughs> uh, can I see your driver's license? She must have been like, yeah, duh. You're on the border to it. <laughs> I wasn't sure where we were. You thought we were in Switzerland yeah, already. I had no idea. <laughs> ah, wow. That's really beautiful. Uh, what a backdrop behind you, huh? Yeah, those mountains are insane. We're now in the capital of Liechtenstein. I believe so. I believe so. Do you want to double check? You could double check, but I'm pretty sure it is. There's loads Oh yeah, we are, we are, we are. Look at that castle there. Not castle, church. Church. Wow. It's pretty. What do you think about Liechtenstein? I mean, I can't really say from the side of the road, um, but it looks clean, looks nice. Mountains all around. The weather is nice. Can't complain really. And you did try the national dish of Liechtenstein today. Yeah. So you can say that their food is spectacular, right? Yeah, that dish was great. Really good. Wow. Can't believe the size of those mountains. I know, right? Switzerland. 
question number four of the day. <laughs> oh, the backdrop behind you, it just gets more and more epic. Oh, I gotta stop. Oh yeah, pull over. We've literally just pulled over. <laughs> like, get out of the car! <laughs> well, at least now it's gorgeous! We, touched. Oh, no. so, oh. we didn't touch Liechtenstein. You can see it. You can see it. That castle looks insane. But look at all the mountains around. Yeah, they're literally all around. Oh, and it's gonna get more of those. We're gonna be getting many, many, many more mountains. Mm. I'm excited. Oh. Wow, fourth country of the day. That's actually crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. I think we've arrived in some sort of fairy tale village. Standard Switzerland. Oh yeah, I can see um, other cars parked up. Nice. That's it, right? Sorry. Drive right into it. Basically, every country we've been to has had designated parking areas for camper vans for free. Yeah, there's no services or anything. You just sleep here and yeah, what else do you need? Well, you don't need services because no. you've got your kitchen and your toilet in the back, so... For one night? For one night, it's perfect. And since we want to set off early tomorrow morning, it's a perfect place to start the road trip tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. This will do. Two other campers there. Football pitch over here, and we're just in a proper valley here in Switzerland. Perfect. I think this will do for tonight. I think it's perfect. It's so cozy. I can hear like the um, town bells ringing in the background. So it must have just hit 12, six o'clock. Yeah, six or three. Mm. <sighs> and then tomorrow. We have to get up early for our next journey. Yeah, but then I finally get to see my mom and we'll finally arrive. And then we can cheers with the lovely wine that we bought in Germany. It'll be nice. Yay! Made it. Made it. Halfway. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>
the roads that we're currently on now are getting more and more narrow. I hope they stay two lanes because obviously we've got two-way traffic coming and there's not that much traffic but the traffic that is here tends to seem to be trucks, like big trucks. So we have to really slow down, they have to really slow down and then we're just because it's pouring with rain and we're on the side of a mountain. So if somebody does something slightly wrong, that could end up really badly, it's definitely a little bit more of an adrenaline-based drive now. Oh, what's happening here? Why is it so narrow? I thought we were going to hit that. <laughs> I thought we were going to hit that. It's so loud as well. The rain is loud. It's not that windy, luckily, yet. And it wasn't meant to be windy, so hopefully it'll just stay as just rainy, but it's heavy. Whoa, it's getting narrow now. There's no lines in the middle of the road. No wonder this is the most dangerous road. Oh wow. It's straight up. It's a bit of a scary drive, not just because it's going upwards and we have a big vehicle, but also because it's pouring with rain, squiggly lines, and it's not really two-way, it is two-way, but it's not wide enough to be comfortably a two-way road. Whoa. So we kind of have to really slow down and anyone that approaches us also has to really slow down and then kind of give way a little bit. Here's a corner. Uh, uh, what do we do? They must be like, what the hell is a British car, car doing here? Is it lost? <laughs> we are not lost. We are on a mission. mission. Ah, oh my god. <laughs> Big boat at home. You know, my ears just popped. Really? <laughs> That's how high up we're getting. Oh. Both of my ears just popped from the elevation. And I even feel like it's getting colder. And it does get colder the higher up you get, but maybe you just put the air con on. Did you? I didn't uh, change anything now, but... And it's getting colder. But we are high up. We're still climbing. We've been climbing for the past, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. It's... Yeah, the drop is uh, quite a drop. I think we are in that sort of orange-yellow color of the rain prognosis. Yeah. The road is getting steeper and steeper, and the weather is just getting worse. I wouldn't want to be this biker. His hands must be freezing. After a few more climbs, we make it to the top of the pass. The perfect time to stop for some lunch and to see if the weather will improve. Platform slash photo spot slash can't really see anything because we're in a cloud, but also a good place for us to have lunch spots. What? What? Oh my god. What? Open the window. What? Look how high we are. Oh my god. Down. See the road at the bottom? Everything looks good back here. <laughs> Ow. Oh, wait. Yeah. The rain is definitely. Ah! I'm trying to protect ourselves. Oh, rain gone everywhere. Yeah. You got some on the sandwiches. Oh, like Sorry. This. Our babies! Look, the rain is coming sideways. Well, I'm glad to be inside, I've got to be honest. I'm definitely making it worse. <laughs> Good old sleeve. Oh yeah. Ah, I can. Pretzel bread from Lidl. Yeah. Cheese from Lidl, Germany. <laughs> Salami from Aldi in Germany, probably. I think so. Samurai sauce from Netherlands. Mix it up as well. Oh shit! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god! The air pressure! No! <laughs> Look at my trousers! Oh no! Oh no! Look at you! <laughs> what? Uh, that was a... Surprise! It's surprise! Okay, you're oh, on. It's mayonnaise! Okay, 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 okay. You stay, stay where you are. Should I use this? You can use that, yeah. Mm. Oh, God. <coughs> that was, that was, that was actually, that shocked me. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. It's like going on an airplane and opening something. Yeah. I literally just washed this jumper yesterday. Did it go on the van anyway? No, it just went on you. <laughs> 124 kilometers. Two hours of driving. Should I tell her two and a half hours then, just in case? Say three. Just in case. Between two and a half and three. <laughs> On we go. On we go! Ah. Raining so much. Uh, it's not the scenic drive we were hoping for. This gentleman has been riding his bike. We saw him earlier, and uh, he just asked us if he can have a lift down to the village. And we're not going to say no. It's okay. Yeah, you put put these things in the back, and then nothing will be. Uh... The weather is terrible, isn't it? Terrible! I'm so cold. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Yeah, no, I started. No. One week ago, uh, and it was warm like summer. Yeah. At, like end of summer. Yeah. Uh, and I, now I didn't it's expect this weather. Definitely not so nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, I think that's where okay. Where can sit? Uh, no, you can sit. In you you sit here. Meeting. There's three oh, no, seats. No, 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 I have to hold it. It's too dangerous for for, for, for your. Uh, we can lay it down, maybe yeah. a little bit. And we will drive carefully, and maybe. Okay. Do you want a towel for here? We have towels, babe. Uh, in the fourth drawer, we have towels in there. Nothing in the back, right? Oh, yes, nothing in the back. It's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Still? Are you able to get? Yeah. Oh, this one's already a little bit. Um... Oh yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's okay. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> Here you go. It's, so, it's, it's so terrible. Great. Oh, it's so great. Oh, I, I, I can't um, break. Uh, oh. You must be so cold. Yeah. <sighs> but I have only one, one, uh, one mountain more. This is this. Uh, oh, sorry for my English. No, oh, no, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I only want to to climb after the next hill. Yeah, yeah. With us. Okay. Yeah. And uh, here. this it's is all I need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're making yeah, a video. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Alexander from Germany. And <laughs> you are very cold. <laughs> <laughs> very cold, yeah. Okay. Oh. We saw you driving uh, past, yes. <laughs> past yeah. you earlier. We were like, like uh, wow, this guy is brave. <laughs> How long have you been cycling today? Uh, today only uh, 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 30 kilometers. Yeah. Only? Only 30, yeah. <laughs> It's wow. the shortest track today. Yeah. Uh, oh. wow. And your trip? Uh, well, we started in Wales. Okay. And then we... <laughs> not okay, today. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then we went down to... Uh -huh. We took the ferry to the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. And then we drove from the Netherlands to Belgium, then yeah. to Luxembourg. Luxembourg, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very nice. And then we went to Germany. Uh-huh. Which was very lovely. Yeah. Uh -huh. Trier. Trier. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's my hometown. Oh, really? Home, not really hometown, <laughs> but in near of Trier. Oh, yeah. it was... 30 kilometers from Trier. I'm oh. from Adria. Uh, near the, uh, the frontier to, to France. Yeah. Oh, it's very yeah. nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. Do you do this very often? Uh, yes. 
but, but uh, today it's too hard. Yeah. Why are you on your own? Why? I'm, I'm alone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you don't need to My wife? <laughs> my wife wouldn't make it. <laughs> this week, no? oh, awesome. And this trip I, has I, been for a while? Or? Uh, um, I've, I've, I've made this trip um, um, five years ago. Oh, wow. Uh, from the other side here. Oh, okay. You know? And I know that this uh, uh, mud is very strong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I didn't know how to break. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, you look so cold. Oh, yeah, okay, Your okay, hands okay. are bright it's red. Okay, it's okay, it's <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's crazy from Wales. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and what is your end of, of your tour? Uh, we are finishing in Switzerland. Yeah, well, up here, up here, two hours yeah, from here. My mother lives there. Ah. So yeah. we're visiting her and then we're driving back up to Wales. <laughs> great. Right. Really great. And where you are living? Uh, in in here. here. You are living here? Yeah, in, in the back here. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but we are from England. Uh, from Wales. Yeah. Uh, from Wales. Yeah, I'm from, from Sweden Wales. actually. As, it's only him. Ah, so Sweden. Okay, from Sweden. Yeah, he's from Wales. I'm from uh, Sweden, and uh, we live here and just travel around. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we we do uh, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. So we do uh, little clips and stuff. Are you famous? Um, famous YouTuber. So so. <laughs> <laughs> we have a hundred and forty thousand followers. Oh, yeah. oh. Quite. Oh. Medium. <laughs> okay, and your okay, and your name and uh, at your job? It's two passports, one dream. Uh -huh. That's two passports, one dream. Yes. Okay, I will find you. Like uh, two passports, one dream. Yeah. Like this, two passports, one dream. I will find you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will find you. <laughs> yeah. You can subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This yeah. is now Grimsel Pass. It's up it's, these. It's now, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Done. So, Grimsel. If, you, if, if it's okay, you can. Anywhere here? Yeah, yeah. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six kilometers. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nix, nothing. Okay. Oh, everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
back up a mountain to my mom's house. It's about 20 minutes, 30 minutes away. Uh, I have secured her goods. They've got a little seatbelt on. The wine is right here by my feet. I'm ready to just grab it and go. I'm super excited. It's been a year. It's been over a year since we've been at my mom's house here and it's been way too long. So it'll be so, so nice to finally get reunited. After us traveling for so long, we're finally in Elton on our way to her house. the camera. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. Look tan. She always looks tan. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. <laughs> Welcome. Na. I have to put it in the yeah, rain. It means welcome in Swedish. Got some things for you which we will show you on the inside. It's safe to say she loves the presents we bought from all over Europe. And what a trip we've had with Elton. Wales, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, Germany, and this mammoth of a trip through four countries over the last two days. Over 2,000 kilometers driven, but getting here to Switzerland to see my mom has made it all worth it. I don't get to see my family often enough, living so far away from each other. But when we do get together, it's like no time has passed. These are the times we should cherish with loved ones. This trip has been amazing and what a way to finish it off. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next series where we jet off to warmer pastures.